What's up, meta nerds? In this little meta moment, I want to just point out that there's a ship that was seen during the Battle of Umbara that most people, including myself, didn't even notice during their first viewing. It's actually in a couple different spots, and though it was hard to find information on this ship, it is called the Umbaran Support Craft. I think that whoever designed this ship wanted its backstory to be that it was made by and used by the Umbarans, as its look is very different from other stuff that we see used by the CIS. On top of that, we don't see this ship used anywhere else throughout the Clone Wars. There seem to be at least 8 of these ships used during that sky battle, with some of them receiving damage from Y-Wings. This dirigible look is pretty cool in my opinion, and is something that we can also find in the Kaminoan Observation Ship and the Hapsen Battle Dragon, the latter of which was similar in size, being about 500 meters long. By looking at the concept art used for this episode, we see how ridiculously sleek and unique this craft is, which is why I feel that it was clearly not built by the free DAC builders of the Providence class, or Horish Kessel Drive that produced the Munificent. This ship was actually developed out of unused concept art for the space battle over Coruscant in Episode 3, and through these notes, we can see that it would have had something like three different bridges, presumably which serve different functions, as this blue circle is a window, and not an engine glow like I originally thought. And with this same asset, we can actually do our good old size comparisons. It is half the length of the Banking Clan frigate, making it 412.5 meters, or 1,353 feet, which is about half the length of the Acclimator class assault ship, and at 161 meters, or 528 feet wide, it was about 4 Jawa sand crawlers across, and at a height of 143 meters, or 469 feet, it was about 4 ATM-6s tall. Of course, there was no speed stats or hyperdrive details, and nothing is known about the extent to which this was used by the Ambarans, or if it survived on after the Clone Wars, but I definitely wanted to give this amazing craft some attention, and let me know what you guys think about this ship in the comments down below, and if you wish we could have seen more of it. But most important of all, remember, if your Star Wars RP character has a steampunk vibe, I think we found your flagship, and the Force will be with you, always.